Ferdinando. So I, I, just to give you a little bit of background of where I'm from, I'm from Miami and I'm a yoga teacher and I've met Swamiji for the first time last year in July um, at the IA in Varanasi. Context, I wanted to share an, ex uh, an experience I had with the Akashic readings. And my question to them was, you know, what forms of Swamiji um, did I live with him in my past births? And they didn't give me the answer that I was expecting. All they told me was back to my two lives. The first life, I had the darshan of Patanjali, and that's when I started practicing yoga. And then the second life, I was living with Swamiji, spreading Swamiji through yoga. And that gave me such a click because I'm currently a yoga teacher now. Yoga just happens so easily to me. And also, I had this deep yearning just to be here, be with him. And they confirmed for me that my life purpose is to live with Swamiji and that I would become an Adinavasi and then my daughter would join the Gurukul. And I'm just so excited. And so after these Akashic readings, it just took me, it just clicked in me at such a deep depth level that I know that my path has been confirmed and I know what I need to do. So I encourage everybody to get their Akashic readings done because you never know what kind of um, depth and what kind of shift can happen to you. So thank you, Nithyananda. Abhishekam was offered to Lord Venkateshwara. Alamilu is also known as Padmavati. She is a form of Lakshmi, the Devi of wealth and good fortune. Padmavati is the consort of Sri Venkateshwara. The name Padmavati in Sanskrit is She who emerged from Lotus. The most prominent shrine of Padmavati is Sri Padmavati Amavari Temple, situated in Tiruchannur, a suburb of Tirupati city. Tradition dictates that every pilgrim to Tirupati must offer obedience at this temple after visiting Tirumala Venkateshwara Temple. Narayana Govinda Matava, Nityanarayana.